All right, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Shamrock Sean. I'm sitting on my 1982 MCI MC9. Tonight, I'm driving about five hours north in this heat wave uh, to Sudbury, Ontario. And before I go, I have a few things that I would like to do. So with each video that I am doing, we're getting a few more things done for the bus. Basically, I bought the bus in a very good condition. I'm trying to elevate that to an excellent condition and then maintain that. So at one o'clock today, I'm going up to the Antrim Truck Center and I'm getting an oil change done. The weight of oil in the motor right now is incorrect. So I now have a proper oil filter and the proper oil weight as specified for the 6V92. And before I drive in this type of heat any further than I, than I already have, I wanna get this done and have that peace of mind. So, so far we've done uh, new tires and new rims and that was last week. Uh, we've done a few other little odds and ends, and if we look back to the video from when I came back from Winnipeg, I went around and I did some lights and light housing and fixtures with used parts. Now that I'm home and established and have the bus and we're on the road and we're doing these events, I've ordered a complete new set of lights from NFI Parts, and today I want to go around and replace all my marker bulbs, because some of my used ones have burnt out. I would like to grease um, some fittings on the front end. Uh, right now when I'm driving, you can hear the clutch squeaking. And it's not actually the clutch at the back, it's actually just the leverage and pedal system. So I'm gonna be greasing that. And I also want to top up my power steering fluid as since getting home from Winnipeg, now when I turn, you hear a bit of a groan. So I'm sitting here on the bus, reading my service manual, drinking my coffee and just verifying that all the stuff that I have is correct. So um, I'm verifying here that my marker lights are the 624 style, style bulb, which I have in quantities now. And I've got my grease and I have the proper 40 weight engine oil and I have the proper power steering fluid, the proper weight oil as specified by MCI for or whoever manufactured that uh, component of the coach. Um, so anyway, we're going to get around the bus, we're going to do all this, and then when we button it up, I'll grab a quick bite for lunch, we'll head up the road, we'll get an oil change, and I'll be ready to depart tonight. Right now, it's about 104 degrees, and it's still 100 in the shade, and I don't want to drive this bus without air conditioning five hours north in the heat. It's just not going to be good for any of the old uh, gaskets and uh, plastic lines or rubber lines. The heat is just not going to be good under pressure. So I'm going to wait till later tonight as the sun is going down and drive at a more optimal temperature and just drive safely with fewer people on the road. Yes, there'll be deer. Yes, there could be moose up there. Uh, but I'm going to drive safely using my years of commercial driving experience to my, to my benefit. And, uh, with these old, ha or old, maybe they're halogen. I'm not sure. Maybe someone can correct me. I have the, uh, four round headlights. I believe they're halogen 12 volt. Um, regardless, with these old headlights that are not as bright as these new LEDs, I'm not going to overdrive them or get too confident or cocky. So I'm going to get the bus ready during daylight, then I'm going to rest and leave tonight. I'll make it to North Bay and tomorrow we'll finish the drive to Sudbury. But before we go, there's just a few preventative things that I want to get done. Lights, grease, lubricants, and away we go. So I am going to step outside, open up the front little bay there, get the GoPro on my head, and we'll uh, pick up there with the grease gun. All right, guys, so real quick before we continue, I just want to show you um, kind of a, a testament to how this bus has been cared for. Um, if we go in here, you can imagine the number of buses that I've actually driven uh, professionally. Um, a lot of them are 2010 or newer, and over the road you develop some wiring issues that, uh, you know, will be rectified in a quick manner which involves in some, you know, it involves creative wiring. Check this out. This is all original. I can't believe this. You can see that everything here is pretty well virgin. The way it runs down, nice and neat. Everything is organized, nothing's crossed over. There's a few add-ons here from like the AM FM radio, uh, a 12 volt socket, which I have to rewire and the, uh, the AV system. But all in all, this thing is, pretty virgin and intact. So that right there to me was a sign that this bus was not just a used and abused fleet vehicle. Oh, this will be good. Oh, Greg.
Hey man. How are you? Trying to, I'm going up there tonight. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, you too, man. All right. All right, guys. So, if we look in here. If we look here, we've got. Oof. Okay, stand by. We're going to. We're gonna clean that up, one sec. All right, guys, we're gonna clean this up a little bit here. Clutch shaft, gear shift box, brake valve. Oh uh, yeah. Left hand, right hand. Look at that. Okay. All right, guys. So, so now with that done, we are going to, for the first time, use the Milwaukee greaser, which I have never done before. So bear with me while I learn with you guys. Okay. Oh. Okay, that makes way more sense. Well, would you look at that? Just look at it. All right, let's see what happens, guys.
All right, guys, so now that I got all the grease uh, points up in that little bay covered with my uh, left and right hand clutch linkages, um, gearbox, and brake valve, I'm now gonna move to the power steering. I've noticed while I'm driving, I'm getting a little bit of a groan. So I do have the uh, recommended oil type for this. It is low. Um, I can't get the camera quite in there without mucking up the camera to show you the sight glass. Um, but it is quite low. It's gonna take almost a whole capacity actually. It's uh, dangerously low. Uh, so before I'm driving, I'm gonna get that topped up. So we're gonna throw about 10 liters uh, into here. And then once I actually start the bus later to go up for the oil change, I'll then cycle the steering left and right about six complete times. Um, and uh, we'll then readdress from there. So I'm gonna go get the oil, we're gonna pop it in. All right, so power steering is done. Grease points are greased. I'm sweatier than heck. And then we're good for an oil change. All right, everyone, I'm up here at the Antrim Truck Center. Uh, I'm supposed to leave tonight. Uh, to start heading north. I'm gonna stay in North Bay tonight, but before I go with this extreme heat, it's over 100 degrees, I wanna get the oil change done with the proper oil and filter for the bus. So I've dropped it off here, and it's currently inside, as we can see, uh, being worked on. And it uh, feels great knowing that it's gonna be done properly. It feels great knowing that's going to be done properly and I'll be able to go home, rest, do a workout and take off tonight knowing that uh, everything is tickety-boo from the wheels, the tires, the rims to the oil and everything else. So I uh, should be here about an hour and a half. They're finishing up one truck, then they're, then they're going to get to the bus and uh, should be out of here in time to go home and have a quick nap before a workout. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So while I wait for uh, the bus to be ready, uh, I just walked across the lot to the truck stop portion where there's a you know cat scale and a fuel island and a restaurant. Um, I've always stopped here on uh, Charter and they have the world's best um, butter tarts. So uh, anyway, while I was in there, um, it was kind of a flashback to my childhood. They always used to have trucks inside. There's a Western Star dealer here and they'd always have trucks inside over at the bakery and uh, then they turned it into like a gift shop of sorts and I just walked in there and there was a truck inside again but not just any truck it was a truck uh, bought by I believe the history of it was Phil Langevin bought it from Tommy York Cartage Construction and um, spent hundreds of hours on it and customized it um, lengthened the frame lengthened the hood and then revealed it at mats so I'll put the uh, walk around of that truck here and we're just walking back over to check on my bus and see how long until we're out of here. All right guys, what an experience here. The oil change is done, we just fired it up. It sounds better, it's not leaking as much, it's amazing. Um, all the old oil is all over the back of the bus because it was just too light and too thin and it was spraying everywhere. So uh, we're gonna do a rear start. I'm gonna pull it out. They're gonna let me use a hot water pressure washer. We're gonna clean it up and get on the road home. So. All right, everyone, I'm about a little over two hours from home. I have not stopped. I've been cruising along at about 72, 73 miles an hour, heading up here to Sudbury. I'm currently in Deep River, Ontario, and guys, you should see the lightning show that's going on right now. It's like that heat lightning from the summer. It is so cool. So I've got, you know, I've got the roof hatches open. I've got all the uh, fresh air intakes open on the dash. 
trying to stay cool without air conditioning. Got an appropriate tee on. Um, but guys, I can't believe this. I gotta show you the lightning show. And since doing that oil change, I can't believe, actually, let me grab my phone. I'm gonna take a photo. Check out the back of the bus. With the wrong weight of oil, it was always pitch black right away. Check this out. I am so happy with how this bus is coming along with every little job or task that I complete. It's just one step closer to being